Hey everybody, Papa Gord here, and welcome back, or welcome me coming back. Anyway, um, we're gonna we're gonna talk Batman because I I really like Batman. We don't talk Batman nearly enough on the channel, but really, Star Wars and Batman, those are kind of my two favorite favorite things, and He Man and Tron and 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 Marvel and and lots of other stuff, but really. Batman was kind of what got me back into collecting first and foremost. So uh, my wife and kids got me the animated series Batmobile, the original one from the 90s. Uh, and that kind of led me back into the collecting world. So NECA announced that they were starting to do some replicas, some prop replicas from, uh, some, from Batman. So the first one that they did was the 89 Batman movie, The Batarang. So major thanks to Chris, AKA 1000th Ghost, for sending this up to me. Um, because I've never seen this stuff up in Canada, ever. Maybe some local comic shops are gonna be getting some of this stuff in, but as far as like major stores, no idea. And the Batarang's been out for a little while now, to the point that I know I saw that the, some Walmarts were advertising, or some people were finding them for like five bucks on clearance, which is just mind blowing. Um, yeah, so the, this is the first piece. Um, so again, thanks to thanks to Chris for sending this in because I don't know if I ever would have come across one for my for my collection. And you can fold it up. In, in half like so and then fold these back in so I guess so it gets nice and compact um, so you can put it into your utility belt I'm assuming and pop it right back out again you know again it's plastic got it's got a little bit of weight to it so they, they've got to have something in here to, to make it a little bit heavier but uh, I, I I wouldn't be whipping this around anywhere because I don't think it would probably hold up all that well. But it it looks awesome. Um, you know, it gives you the Batman feels. Anyways, it does for me. So so there you go. You got the the silver tips here, and those are kind of pointy. Those actually would probably probably easily break the skin. And it comes with just you know, it's not not a whole lot to it, but at least you get some sort of a stand. I think to help make this pop the Batman there, I think maybe I'll get some sort of like a, um, a paint pen or something like that, maybe a gold paint pen and color that, uh, maybe to color that in to help make that pop a little bit more. But, you know, you put the, put the Batarang right there and I think it looks quite nice. So that was really exciting to, to finally be able to add that to my collection. And then NECA announced they were going to do a Batman the Animated Series Grapnel Launcher. And that just was exciting as all get out. So I, I put it out there again and said, hey, any of my American buddies out there, if anybody comes across one, let me know. Uh, I'm not asking for it to be sent to me for, for free. Like, I will, I, will, I will pay. Don't you worry. And... Massive thank yous to Sleeping from Sleeping Collectibles. Sleeping sent this up or a message and said, hey, I, I've seen this. D do you still want? Yes, yes, please. And it actually made it here. So uh, the first time it, it made it to the border and over the border in one try without it having to go back and then come back again. And, uh, and this is it. So again, it's a little bit of weight. Uh, it takes some really bizarre batteries. These are um, 1.5 volt uh, LR1 batteries. So they're almost about half the size of like a double A or something. I had a heck of a time. I actually had to order them from Amazon because I couldn't find them at Walmart or uh, even the source. So <laughs> it was a little ridiculous because this actually does fire. Um, this is gonna be a little difficult. So you got the red button right here. And then you've got this little button right in here. So this one's the launcher. This is the retractor, I guess. Yeah. So here, I'll just hold it slightly off. And did you see that? There, see, there's the string. And then we will in. 
and then here. And we're loaded up again. So that's actually pretty cool. It's a nice, a nice size, nice half. Doesn't come with a stand or anything like that. Um, I, I don't know if I display it like this, display it like that, kind of angle it up or whatever. Woo, there we just shot it again. So it's good. It, it, once in a while it will just get nice and tight. But yeah, here, we'll do one more shot. Cause you don't even see, so. Yeah, I don't think you're really gonna grapnel anything with that, but honestly, here we go. It's in there. Nice and tight, ready to go. Batteries go into this side right here. And like I said, there's the, the retractor to, to pull the string back in and the launch button as well. So I dig it, it fits really nice. It's a, it's a nice fit, it's a nice size. Looks really cool. Not a lot to it, just gray and, and black, like so, but still excellent. So NECA, thank you for making some actual real Batman replica accessories. So I am down. Make some more stuff, because stuff like this, I, I would easily love to add more into my collection. So there we go. Uh, the other box is packed away. Uh, cause this one's been a lot more recent, uh, into the collection, but, um, but yeah, completely rad. So I do recommend if you're able to find one of these, go for it. I don't know about anybody up in Canada. Uh, again, contact your local comic book shops. See if any, if they're got any plans on getting these in. I do think I read through one of the chat boards that I think the Batarangs might be starting to show up at some shops late August. Um, but again, don't quote me on that. Anyways, guys, that's it. Something a little bit different. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you guys again real soon. Um, comment, share, like, subscribe, all that usual YouTube mumbo jumbo. We'll catch you in the next one. A little later, eh?